So, well, I guess you've been having fun in Portland, right? Of course. Cool. It's a World Horror Convention. We yeah. always have fun at WHC. Always. Always. Wherever it is. Last year we were in New Orleans, so that was pretty good too. What was that like? New Orleans. Um, well, we went out every single night until about four in the morning. We did a lot of business in the bar. <laughs> um, good panels, good friends, same people who are here this year. So, in fact, this skull that I'm wearing is from the 1993 World Horror Convention in New Orleans. I think I got the year right, 1993, which I wear every year at WHC. Um, my first small con was a reader con, and I went there to um, thank uh, Charlie Ryan who had bought my third qualifying story for pro CIFWA and pro HWA membership. It was like circa 1993, somewhere back then. And I'm a, quite an introvert and was even more so back then and didn't really ever want to be famous. I wasn't the type of author who wanted to become known. I just wanted it hidden. This was the thing I did and I wanted to write and connect to people on the page but I didn't necessarily want my face connected to, you know, I really preferred anonymity. But I felt I had to go and, ch and thank him. I wanted to thank Scott Edelman, too, because he had been very nice to me um, in emails. Uh, not emails, they didn't exist then. Letters. And that was my first con. It was a reader con. I hid in the janitorial closet, and a friend dragged me out to go in the dealer's room to thank them. I was absolutely terrified. So that was my first con. Well, you know how I, how I felt about it back then? Um, was when I had the third qualifying sale and I felt, I was very poor at the time too, <laughs> so I felt if I can justify joining it, you know, that now that I've qualified, bang, I'm going to do it in a second because I'll get to meet other people like myself, which will be nice because, you know, writers basically work in closets and pajamas and we don't have you know, workmates or anything. So it's really nice to go once a year and hang out and party and talk to people and it just feels good. <laughs> so I would suggest to new writers, you know, work on your craft, you know, express yourself. Don't write just because you want to be famous or something because this doesn't happen much. Write from your heart, write because you feel that you have something to say. You know, if you're doing this for a while and you want to meet other people like yourself, definitely Join HWA and come to a World Horror Convention. Um, I, I really think, as I just said, the best thing is write from your heart, write what you really feel. Um, don't just write about people, you know, zombies and guns and this and that and detectives and ordinary thing, but write um, personally, you know, write, I feel, emotions, characterization, make sure you have a plot, make sure you know craft, that there's a story arc of some kind, a beginning, a middle, an end, a point of view character that's maintained throughout that, that the reader likes and understands and you know, feels some sympathy toward. Um, write because you mean it. That's really the best advice to a new writer. Write because you mean it, not because you want a byline which I think is really common nowadays you know, with self-publishing, e-self-publishing, and everyone can just throw stuff up there. Um, and sometimes you don't want to throw the stuff up there. You, you know, learn your craft. This is Dark Fusions, which came out at World Fantasy Convention in November um, from PS Publishing. It's an anthology of dark fiction. Um, some of it is horror, a lot of it's horror. Um, who's in here? We have Nick Kaufman, Norman Prentice, um, Cody Goodfellow, um, Ann Schweider's in here, Lisa Morton, um, Nancy Kilpatrick, Jim Gardner, Nick Cato, Yvonne Navarro's in here, um, and other people. And um, some of it's weird fiction, some of it's a dark fantasy, and I'm doing another one called Innsmouth Nightmares for PS Publishing, and that of course will be Innsmouthian uh, Lovecraft type. You know, I, I just, I really think that writing is, um, I say this to a lot of people, this will be my nugget of so-called wisdom. This is as wise as I get, which is not too deep. You know, I, I think if you're driven to write, you're going to do it, I mean, even if you're, I used to work like double jobs and I didn't have much money and all the rest of it, and, and, but I had to write. And so I think those of us who have been around a long time and hung in there, it's because, you know, we just have, we want to say things on paper. It's our form of expression. We want to write stories. They're in our heads. 
we, you know, they just won't go away. You, you just can't stop doing it. So if you're really young and you're starting out and you want to write, you're going to be driven to do it no matter how you have to do it, even if it's in the middle of the night or you have 12 kids. Well, I don't know about 12, but I had two. It, you know, you're going to be driven to do it. So do it for the right reasons. Cool. You know, do it because you have to. And that's the only legitimate reason. That's my, my great wisdom of nugget. I, my, my wisdom of nugget. My, see, I've been with, with Lisa. My nugget of HWA wisdom. <laughs> Be scary. Can I go in like this? I, I don't have my band-aids on. Be scary.